Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I was watching a video from Sandra, which is another cybersecurity expert in this industry that helps you land a cybersecurity job, which is awesome because I love her channel. I watch a lot of it even before starting my own. But, you know, she was on a video today specifically about Security Plus versus CC from ISC Squared. And her title or her thumbnail was, which one is better? Well, and I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion in regards to ISC Squared and what they're trying to do and what they're trying to accomplish versus Security Plus. In all its entirety, which one I prefer when I start sorting through resumes. Not the one that I would choose to take only because it's easier and I'll just have something to put on my resume. No, never. I would never want to do that. What I want is reputation, some substance for what people will actually look at. And when I say people, that would be the hiring manager or the organization and the company that is sorting through all these resumes. Now, granted, granted, a lot of these resumes are going through some automation that no human will ever touch. But unfortunately for me, I work in a place where I do have to touch a lot of resumes and I do look for certain criteria or certain certifications before even moving on to the next step of emailing someone else and saying, hey, let's set up an interview. So let's get to it. This is what I'm talking about, guys. So Sandra put out a video today, Security Plus versus CC. So I watched the entire thing and I was like, hey, you know what? I think ISC Squared is really out there just to capitalize on the elementary of cybersecurity now, right? Now, granted, this certification has been out for like over a year now. And this whole 1 million free ISC squared thing has been there for over a year now. So are you telling me they did not accomplish to have over a million dollars, uh, a million dollars, a million people sign up for this free certification? Or is that just a marketing gimmick, right? So let me let me explain a little bit more. Now, if you were to sign up for this and you took this certification for free, yes, free, you are in the track of being an ISC squared member, right? You pay your, your maintenance due, which is going to be $50 annual maintenance fee. Okay. Now you're certified cybersecurity. All right. Certified in cybersecurity. Now I'm going to say this, right? This whole cert certified in cybersecurity, you got a million guys or a million soldiers. I'm going to say guys, guys and girls, you got a million of them paying $50 maintenance fee. ISC Square is capitalizing on $50 million a year just because you're holding a CC certification. Now, with the CC certification, I honestly do not look for it. It has not built a reputation for me to even consider looking for it because I don't know what the qualifications for someone earning or sitting through a CC exam will illustrate or demonstrate that they know. Okay. Now, I know. Uh, in regards to cybersecurity, uh, well, Security Plus, it's a little, it has evolved, right? I've taken it many years back before they had the whole three year, you you had to like, you know, renew. Um, mine was kind of fathered into the whole never having to renew after three years. I, I don't know. That was like over 10 plus years ago. So that's how long Security Plus has been now. So it, it built a reputation that you had to know something in order to obtain that certification. Now, CC is still new, so I'm not, you know, too crazy about it. And if you really had to choose between the two, as far as, you know, having a foundation on your resume, my honest opinion is going to be with the security plus. I'm just saying, I, you know, that's, that's my personal preference. I, that's what I look for. And if you had to choose between the two, that's fine. But remind you that once you obtain the security plus, you still have to pay a $50 a year maintenance fee or, you know, whatever it is. And then a uh, uh, total of three years because you have to renew is $150 in total. And they tell you here exactly what certifications fall under that category. All right. And if you decide to take the CC also from ISC squared, you're going to pay another $50 annually. So that's $100, right? Each year that you're paying into maintaining these two certifications. Now, the one thing I wanted to backtrack on CC versus Security Plus it's another exam that I want to talk about. And I actually have SSCP. This was the beginner certification that was before CISSP. This was the entry level to cybersecurity, believe it or not, that was being sold by ISC squared many years ago before CC even came out a year or two ago. So with that being said, I mean, even knowing SSCP was something that was more uh, you had to know like a decent amount of items here. I mean, it's seven domains and it got pretty deep. It was not a very simple exam, 
but it was a very technical exam, which was awesome. And I, and I took it before even going on my, you know, journey of taking the CISSP. I had the SSCP. I had one, maybe two times an interviewer actually, you know, saying, oh, great, you have the SSCP. But rarely did it ever felt like it helped me in any way, shape or form, you know, while sitting through an interview. Um, some of the things that I remember sitting through interviews were, uh, you know, when the hiring manager or the team that was reviewing my resume and I'm sitting there, they were like, oh, great, you have the CCNA. Oh, great, you have the MCSC. I've never heard them say, oh, great, you have the Security Plus. It was like a given. If you're applying for a security job, you better just have it, right? It's not something that, that you're not, you know, like, oh, I'm working towards it, um, but I don't know anything right now. So I'm hoping that you give me this job so I can learn more. No, it doesn't even work that way. So going back to all this, so, I, you know, I would rather, me personally, would take the SSCP because it's more technical and you would probably illustrate and demonstrate that you know more uh, than just sitting through like theory concepts with the CC exam. Because I just don't feel like it has enough substance to prove anything. At least with the SSCP, you, you're starting to talk hardware and configurations and things that are relatable to the cybersecurity. Not to say CC is not relating to cybersecurity, but it's very, very elementary. Unlike even compared to Security Plus now, which I also feel that it has a little bit more technical background to it. Now, granted, I haven't taken it for many, many years. Um, the last time I revisit the Security Plus, uh, you know, some of the, the material that's there for the certification to pass the test has improved or it has changed dramatically, obviously, from many years of me uh, having sit through, sitting through it. Okay, so um, in short, in this video, I want to just say that, honestly, unless you're willing to really pay for all these different maintenance fees to you know, once you obtain the security plus and once you obtain the CC and, and you're willing to pay the $50 per year, uh, remind you, I mean, ISC Square is just jumping into this now and they're going to make, you know, from this 1 million supposedly, and I'm, I'm pretty sure at least over 1 million people have taken a CC exam so far. Uh, they probably had made their $50 million. Um, but you know, they're there for a reason. Uh, they, they market all this stuff. This, this is their job practically, right? It's marketing because if they don't market, you'll never hear about this. And if you don't hear about this, no one will ever know about it. So obviously they're going to be, you know, putting a lot of, you know, feeds into LinkedIn and any other platform that's cybersecurity related. And ISC squared, of course, is going to piggyback off everything they can off of CISSP. And with that being said, you're going to get, you know, every certification one way or another related back to ISC squared because supposedly CISSP is the gold standard. And if another certification is coming from this organization, why wouldn't it be reputable? Why wouldn't I want to take it? Well, they're not the only, you know, game in town that, that has certifications that are popular. Uh, you know, even as much as a lot of people do not like CEH, some people still look for it, but it is very damn expensive. So anyway, my point of all this is that uh, I would probably sit back on the CC. I would rather take the uh, Security Plus than the CC. And if you really want to, you could take both. But I don't honestly think it's going to benefit you in your job searches when you have both Security Plus and CC. Because I, in all honesty, a lot of people will probably view it as overlap between, oh, I, you know, when I was five years old, I passed kindergarten. And then I went to another school to pass their kindergarten grade like it's 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 repetitive i i just find like it's repetitive so i probably would suggest to save your money and just go towards one and if you had to go towards one it'll be security plus just my opinion guys uh that's what i look for all right i want to thank you guys and i'll see you guys again really soon bye